Hello Excelers and welcome. Thanks for joining me today for another How to Excel at Excel.com Excel tip video. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button below to get notified when there's a new Excel tip available here on my YouTube channel. And if you want to sign up for the How to Excel at Excel newsletter, which gives you three free Excel tips every month direct to your inbox. There's a link below in the description box there. Uh, and when you sign up, you'll get my free ebook, which has got my top 30 Excel tips. Okay, let's get started on today's Excel. Hi, Excelers, welcome back to my next video. Today, I want to show you how to hide negative numbers in your Excel pivot table. This was a question I was asked recently, and I thought it would be a good video to share. So I have here a regular pivot table and it's based on this data right here. It's a small extract sample of stock in and stock out and the subsequent balance per month for the start of the year. So as you can see on my pivot, I have some negative and positive values in the stock. So what we can do is we can use cell formatting to hide the zero and the negative numbers so we're only showing the positive stock values. So before we get into that, we're going to use conditional formatting. So let's have a quick run through of conditional formatting. So conditional formatting has four distinct sections for positive numbers, negative numbers, numbers, zero and text. So if we just go into format cells, and if we have a look at some custom formatting, if we wanted to show only the positive numbers, we would type zero. If we want to hide the negative, we use a semicolon, a semicolon for zero and a semicolon not to display text either. So now we only have the positive number displayed in our pivot table. The final part of this would be I would, the grand total doesn't show anything of relevance in this. So if you just go to pivot table options, totals and filters, I would undo and untick grand totals. So this just shows the positive stock numbers as the grand total isn't relative or representative in this particular example. Okay, that's how to hide negative numbers in your Excel pivot table. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, press the notification bell so you know when I've uploaded a new Excel video and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.